You need to see this because this is just another example of woke Disney hiring another woke activist to make another Star Wars project. And this time is going to be the none other than Ray movie that's slated to come out in 2025. Well, now 2026. And what makes this really troubling is that the director, Shermin Obed Chinoy, is a full on woke activist who has said things like this. I like to make men uncomfortable. I enjoy <laughs> making men uncomfortable. <laughs> That's right. Shermin Obed Chinoy, the woke activist that Disney hired to direct the new Star Wars movie starting Ray, likes to make men feel uncomfortable. Now tell me, please, tell me down in the comments, how the hell is this movie going to be a success in any regard? But that doesn't matter because I believe that this movie is never going to get made because Kathleen Kennedy, who is behind Jermaine Obed Chinoy getting hired as the director to this monstrosity of a film, is probably going to be out of a job here soon. I don't think she's going to make it past the end of the year, especially after Indiana Jones 5 completely flops in the box office like I've covered here. The movie's just not going to do any well. But anyway... This movie, the Star Wars Rey movie slated to come out in 2026 now, is going to be directed by a full-on activist who has no experience directing anything other than documentaries. So please tell me, how the hell is this movie going to be any good? It's not. It's going to be a complete disaster for Disney, a complete failure for Lucasfilm, and more of a reason as to why Kathleen Kennedy needs to go. But I don't think we're going to need to wait because I don't think this movie's ever going to see the light of day. Just like Rogue Squadrons, just like the Ryan Johnson movies, and just like the Kevin Feige Star Wars movie that was promised. None of these movies are going to get made because you see what tends to happen is that Kathleen Kennedy wants to make these movies, these woke monstrosities. But ultimately, once they get up to the bosses, they see what shitty movies these are and they get shelved completely. Or the alternative, good directors actually provide a good story to Kathleen Kennedy, but it doesn't mean the criteria. It doesn't have wokeness. So Kathleen Kennedy completely scraps it. That's what happened with Damon Lindop's movie. He actually wanted to make a good Star Wars movie, but once Kathleen Kennedy saw that Rey was going to take a back seat and that she was going to be an elderly female, she completely scrapped it and changed it. Made it to where Rey was the focal point of the movie and hired Shermin Obed Chinoy, the woke activist, as a director. Listen, the Rey Palpatine movie is a movie that literally nobody asked asked for but Kathleen Kennedy doesn't care about you she doesn't care about Star Wars fans in fact she hates Star Wars fans she hates you she doesn't care about making good Star Wars movies she cares about pushing an agenda more so Lucasfilm cares about pushing an agenda more so Disney cares about pushing an agenda they care about changing the way you see the world no the way your kids see the world that's why they have been making these woke monsters monstrosities for the past couple of years and that is why we have stopped watching them that is why disney has lost literally billions of dollars these past two weeks i've covered it these guys are bleeding money and they're gonna keep bleeding as long as i have breath in my lungs as long as i have a camera in my face and more importantly as long as i have your support i am gonna keep cranking out these videos i am gonna keep pushing out the truth but i need your support hit that subscribe hit that notification bell let me know what you think down in the comments i want to see it and like always don't forget to subscribe sensational <laughs>